that. Do all that. Yep. Okay, hon. <laughs> what are we doing today? Getting rid of the mattress. How long we've had it here? No way. <laughs> Only a day. <laughs> Cal King mattress so um, we're going to carefully remove it and put it in the front porch so one of the guys who I just called up can pick it up tomorrow morning so wish us luck <laughs> so playing around okay oh my goodness okay all right push <laughs> Make sure we don't bump the uh, the lamp up there. You got it? You still got it? <laughs> I still got it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Wait, hold on. You still got it? Should I push it underneath the, the um, ceiling? Good job, honey. Good job. <laughs> Silly. Woo wee. All right. <laughs> Decluttering. All right, bye. One item for day one. And Jay's like, you're up. And I'm like, Pfft. anytime I get to do my nails. finish editing <laughs> at least that's my goal for today I've been up for about 45 minutes now oh, at sunrise gonna be a good day today make it count teasing kitty here alrighty Amazon order <laughs> getting so tired of cleaning my microwave hold on I need two hands no it's a uh, super tall which that's what I really wanted. Put it over like a one of my to-go containers. I'll link this one down below, but hey, at least it'll prevent for me uh, messing up my microwave. Look, that one thing in this big old box. Thanks, Amazon. Got my man. Hi, vacuum. <laughs> Those different attachments, that's funny. <laughs> Isn't that funny, huh, kitty? You saw it here first, folks. <laughs> I'm just kidding.
seeing a Fitbit challenge and I totally forgot to put this on. <laughs> Oopsie! We're just chilling. I am doing some comments and we are watching the Queen Latifah Equalizer, I think it is. So far so good. Okay, so I'm getting the, the fence fixed. Hired contractor, so they're out there. Contractors fixing the fence. It's really loud. Jackhammer. <laughs> I mean, it's a it's a lot. So they fixed, replaced that post there, that one there, and that one there, and then they stapled our nail gunned all along there and there. So it is now fixed. Doesn't it look so much better? Straight up now and so happy. I'm so happy. So they did that, did an awesome job. It's now starting to sprinkle. And then this one is right out our laundry room door and they said this one was really hard to do but they did it and yeah. Ah, good morning you guys. Look at that bent. It's nice and straight and tall. Ah, much better, much better. Happy Valentine's Day. So my husband's so sweet. He got flowers and balloons for us, for me and then for my mom. Valentine's decorations all up. So I'm trying to finish up for the week two of the decluttering collab. So make sure you guys go check that out. It's a lot of fun. If you need that decluttering motivation like moi, this is a total perfect way of getting things out of the house. It's funny as I'm getting older, the whole Valentine's Day has changed throughout like the years i remember in my my earlier years um dating and everything it was like oh my gosh you know you were like looking for that valentine's date to have and you're looking so forward of just going out and just having a great old time and and it's like you know getting receiving the flowers and the cards and the candy and the stuff animals and and then when you get a little bit older it's always like you receive the flowers or the card and then when you get married it's like you find some I don't know Jay and I are like this we find some like humorous <laughs> cards throughout the years and then it becomes like less candy because I don't <laughs> need candy and then it's more like the romantic dinners the formal dinners at a nice restaurant or something like that basically a night that I have off from cooking right now at my age, I feel like it's more or less like, I want new floors. <laughs> Queen G and I were totally laughing yesterday talking about how we are so grateful on Valentine's Day and our gifts and our gifts have totally changed now because now it's like, for Valentine's Day, I just want you to fix my fence. <laughs> Which he did, thank you. That was like the best for Valentine's Day. You can show me how much you love me by taking out the garbage, mowing the lawn, <laughs> fixing that leaky faucet, doing one thing off the honey to-do list, wash the car, <laughs> or unloading the dishwasher. Happy Valentine's Day, man. It's those little things, it's those little things. So yeah, I don't know. I feel like now it's not all about going out to dinner. It's not about receiving the candy or the flowers. Don't get me wrong, guys women do like receiving flowers at least this gal does and um i love it when he does and i love it when it's just not for valentine's day or for my birthday it's just out of the blue just because he thought of me while he was out but anyways i mean i don't know about you guys but i feel like valentine's definitely has revolved throughout the years it's not like what it used to be way back then about receiving a cute little teddy bear or flowers candy cards or the notes or i remember in high school they made it where you can 
send a single rose with a little note to another classmate and it was so I don't know I felt like that was like so much pressure because you know you're always like as soon as someone comes into your class and they have a bunch of roses you're like please let it be me please let it be me and then they don't <laughs> I don't know I thought that was so cruel I'm like why would they do that and then you'd always get like that popular girl she'd be getting like 10 roses <laughs> the little petty little things that we were so into you know when we were so younger it's crazy but like I said as you get a little bit older you're so grateful and blessed for like the littlest things with that you guys I am wishing all of you a very happy Valentine's Day kisses and hugs to each and every single one of you remember to take care of yourself I'm taking care of myself and I will see you on the next one bye or even going to the grocery store for you is another one. <laughs> <sighs> much better, much better.